yourself. They know something is here because you are in that place on this earth just, just, just for showing up. You didn't just born and say, well, I'm here on this earth. My parents just come. No, you was here for a purpose. So you, but according to, to the Bible, a lot of us do not believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Okay? Amen. Yet, even if you do not believe in God, these verses show that it is not enough to keep you from going to hell. Okay? It is not enough to keep you from going to hell. Belief without obedience is worthless. Okay? You must obey. You must obey. Because the devil oh, believe that, that Jesus is the Son of God. The demons believe that Jesus is the Son of God, but they do not obey the command of God. That's, that's why a third of them left, left heaven because they did not obey to the word of God. Okay? So belief is not enough. Okay? Those who settle for less than a total commitment to Christ may find themselves in, in the company of the demons at, at the end of the judgment time. Okay? So you must have a total commitment to God. You cannot just say, I'm going to come to church one day. I'm going to be one foot in and one foot out. One foot still in PDA for stuff and one foot, well, I'm going to go to church and give God a life. No, repent. No, repentance comes with obedience. Repentance comes with following the word of God. You can't come to say, well, I'm going to repent. I'm going to take this. It's not close, but I'm going to take this. I'm going to do, I'm going to do everything that's not according to the word of God. But then, I, then I'm going to just come to church and, church and repent. I'm sure you could always repent because the Bible says you have to repent. You have to repent. So, so your sins could be forgiven. Your sins could be forgiven. But sometimes it's not enough. You must be, you must obey the word of God. You must obey the word of God and have a complete total, total relationship with God. Okay? Good. Our second point in our sermon, we, we, we have a three-point sermon. The, the first point, the, the first point was, was, was why do demons believe in it? Because they believe in the word of God. They just will not obey the word of God. They know the word of God, but, but they were just as kind of follow school. The second point of the sermon is, can demons can demon personally harm you? Okay? Can demon personally harm you? Okay? Those people who have a true relationship with God, okay? You must have a true relationship with God. Those people who have a true relationship with God cannot be overcome by demons. Those who do not have a relationship with God are fair game. Or fear again for the for the servant of of Satan. If you look on Act 19, verse 13 to 20, 